Welcome back to Max's Muscle TV. Well, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day for everyone. Well, that goes for serious trainers too. In this week's nutrition segment, that's exactly what the boys are looking at. Take it away, Freddie. Thanks, Tony. Well, welcome back, Pete. And today we're talking about breakfast. Well, breakfast, best meal of the day. Get up, go and have a couple of cappuccinos, maybe some Eggs mm. Benedict, hollandaise sauce, read the paper, what do you reckon? No go. We're actually looking at breakfast on the run today. So get up, jump in the car and go through the drive through <laughs> No, Pete. No? All about preparation. And today we're going to show you some really great breakfast options. So Fred, I've heard breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Is that, is that right for bodybuilders? It's right for anyone actually. Breakfast, uh, you, you haven't eaten for about eight hours generally before sleep. so. If you're breaking your fast, that's what breakfast is all about. So. so Fred, what's your ideal breakfast then? Well, Pete, I've got a few options here and what I like to eat is something that's convenient and if I'm on the run, something that's really easy and readily available and won't take more than 10 minutes to cook. So something quick and easy? Definitely quick and easy, but again, really nutritious. Very important, Pete. Very nutritious. So what have we got here? Today we've got a few different options. Here we've got rolled oats. We've pre-soaked the oats overnight, and then we've also pre-soaked some almonds. So Freddie, what have you soaked them in? A bit of apple juice? No apple juice, Peter. Um, we've just soaked it in good old plain water. Just warm water? Yeah, just warm water, soaked it overnight. Again, helps with the digestive process. And what we've done is for flavor, we've added a, some nice WPI protein. It's a fast acting protein. Great all-round protein and ideal for the athlete or bodybuilder. So basically straight up out of bed, throw in the almonds, a bit of protein, mix it up, and that's it, breakfast done. Breakfast done and dusted. Okay, what about the other options? What else have we got? Yeah, well, what we've got here, in this is one of my favorites as well. We've chosen a natural yogurt as opposed to a flavored yogurt and a preferably an organic type yogurt. So what's the, what's the, do we mean a flavored yogurt? Well, flavoured yogurts, Pete, tend to have a lot of sugar in it. So if it's a strawberry flavoured yogurt and it says low fat or 99% yeah. fat free, still no good? Still no good. You want to really check the sugar levels in that as well. So what I've found is that the natural yogurt works best for me. Yep. Now, the great thing is with yogurt, you don't have to cook it. You can just add your protein in it and brings out some nice flavours as well and really good for you. A real high GI food, great for vitamin B vitamins and whole lot of other benefits in there as well. What I also like to do, Pete, is drizzle a little bit of flaxseed oil on top of that yogurt as well. So just a little bit? Yep. Now the reason why we're using a flaxseed oil is it's great, it's an essential fatty acid and just slows down the body's digestive system as well and mixes really well and adds a bit of flavour to the whole process. Now, you don't cook with flaxseed oil and preferably when you purchase a flaxseed oil, get it in a bottle as well and keep it refrigerated. Okay, so now my favourite breakfast, eggs. We've obviously got some eggs in there. Now Pete, the eggs are fantastic, great source of protein and we've actually got two choices here. Uh, if you're time poor and on the run, boiled eggs are fine, but you can also knock up omelettes in a couple of minutes as well. Now Freddie, obviously no hollandaise sauce on the eggs, but what about a bit of bread? Bit of yeah, taste? look, if your goal's to lean up a little bit, I would steer away from the bread. It tends to have a lot of carbs in it, but generally speaking, if you if you want a wholemeal or sourdough bread, not a lot of it. Or so. something with a lot of grain in it maybe. Yeah. yeah. And my favourite, pancakes with whipped cream and berries. I don't think that's whipped cream, Pete. That looks like cottage cheese to me. Low fat cottage cheese, to be truthful. Yeah. Now, you've added the berries, not too sugary, because fruits have got a lot of fructose in it. So the pancakes look great, Freddie. Nice fruit, a bit of cottage cheese. The great thing about pancakes, if you've got a little bit of extra time, is Max's have got a really great pancake mix, high in protein, and easy to make, and just basically ready to serve, and away you go. So just add water, shake it, yep. in the fry pan, no problem. Exactly. So Pete, there are a few of my choices for breakfast, but we spoke to a few of the Max's athletes and found out what they like to have for breakfast. So if I'm training at six, I'll be getting up at least at 5 a.m. Fussing over the kids for their breakfast and getting them ready. I don't want to be having a full on restaurant going for myself. It's just what works. If I'm on season, I'll be having either oats and a protein powder. Usually a couple of scoops of the Max's WPI with about 100 to 150 gram of oats and some blueberries. Breakfast, I have um, oats. Oatmeal or oats. I love oats. I think they taste great. Three quarters of a cup to a cup of oats. A cup of oats and a protein shake. Could be my oats 
mixed with just egg whites, and I would have uh, about seven egg whites in my oats, or I would have a, a Max's protein shake with my oats, and that's just the bomb. For breakfast, I usually have uh, eggs. Eggs are always in there. I'm a big fan of eggs. And if it's on season, I'll have whole eggs. If it's off season, I'll take the, the yolks out and just have the whites. Two full eggs and some egg whites. I'm scrambling the eggs, cooking the oats up as porridge, then I mix it all together at the end. It's actually pretty good. When I'm dieting, it's then it's a bowl of oats uh, and it goes down to half a bowl even towards the end. And either my Max's, Max's WPI shake, if I'm in a rush, Otherwise, I'll cook a uh, 12 egg white omelette. For breakfast, uh, I like to have a big breakfast, obviously. Uh, my philosophy is having a, having a breakfast for, for a king. Generally, I'll weigh that out to about 90 grams of dry oats. Um, and to give that some flavour, because I'm only having it with water, mix that with some diced fruit, be it some pear or some, uh, some whey protein. Max is super shred to give it that flavour. And I usually actually throw in quite a bit of cinnamon in there. Add a bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon um, keeps the blood sugar level nice and steady. And acts as a bit of a fat burner too. If I'm not, in a strict dieting phase, I'm a bit more creative with the oats. I put in almonds, some sort of dried fruit, some yogurt perhaps. Oatmeal is a little bit finer, and um, all I find is just a little bit creamier and uh, goes down a little bit easier. If I want to have a, a so-called cheat meal for breakfast, I'll make myself some pancakes. I find that to be really satisfying. I feel like I'm spoiling myself when I have homemade pancakes. Well, Pete, a few different ideas there, but a few common things as well. Yeah, Freddie, look, it was all pretty consistent, but one thing I noticed, no one's eating cereals anymore. That's right, Pete. Well, cereals aren't really the way to go. It tends to be processed and high in sugars, so we want to avoid that. I might have to go home and clean out my cupboard, I think. You might have to. But one thing I did notice, Freddie, everyone's using cinnamon. What's so good about cinnamon? Cinnamon's a great antioxidant, Pete. They're and it's great, a... Yeah, great for donuts. Not great for donuts. No. We, we try to choose natural cinnamon as well and keep away from actually Dutch cinnamon because Dutch cinnamon's got a bit of sugar. So we, we want to keep natural cinnamon and a great fat burning spice, Peter. So not even any cinnamon sugar, just straight cinnamon? Straight cinnamon. Well, one thing that's really good uh, for breakfast with cinnamon is birch and muesli. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a birch and muesli, but not the traditional one. One with green, lots of green fruits in it. Yeah. And Great. yogurts. People might have uh, heard or seen a birch and muesli out and about, but it's a pretty simple dish. It's basically the base of it is, is rolled oats, yogurt, and uh, cut fruits. That's right, Pete. Now you'll notice here, Fred, I've got a, quite a big bowl. So I've got two or three cups of just straight out rolled oats. And uh, why I'm making so much is because I can make it on a Monday and serve it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep. So it needs to soak overnight with the uh, yogurt to get all the uh, moisture in and soften up that. Now again folks, preparation perhaps the night before and leading up to the next day as well. Yeah. Look, you, you know, traditionally you would soak it in juice and things like that, but obviously you've we've cut all the juice out. But Fred, all green fruits, so pear, apple, kiwi fruit and grapes in this one. So I've, I've basically cut a whole lot of it up. Now we want to try to keep it as green as possible. Folks, I'd stay away from things like bananas and uh, peaches and that kind of stuff. So Fred, I've put in there a couple of cups of oats and a, about the same amount of yogurt. And what I want is all of it to bind together. Now it's all natural yogurt, yep. as we've discussed. There's no sugar, no flavour or anything like that. Great, Pete. I was actually going to ask if that was natural or not. Now, we've chosen oats here. It's a soluble fibre, so what it does is it creates gels in your stomach, Pete, so it delays the actual digestive process, so you stay fuller for longer, and that's the reason why we're using oats as well. So you can see the consistency there, it's sort of, you know, it's quite firm, and that's what I want, I don't want it too runny. Now I've got here my cut fruit, and it's basically one apple, one pear, one kiwi fruit, and a small handful of grapes, green grapes. If they're not in season, it doesn't matter. But just now, Folks, you can use berries as well, um, blueberries, raspberries, depends if they're on in season as well. So you can add, you can add as much colour to it, but again, try to stick to either berries or green fruit. Now this is the cinnamon trick we were talking about earlier. Now what I've got here is a cinnamon twill. Basically that's just to show off. So uh, we're just gonna do a little bit of the powdered cinnamon. Now as I said before folks, cinnamon's a really great antioxidant as well and a great fat burning spice. So that's approximately a teaspoon, so that's two teaspoons in that great big bowl. And that's probably enough. It smells really good, that cinnamon, pretty. Now, we really want to add a bit more flavour and texture, so we'll add a bit of WPI to this just before I'm ready to eat it. So I've got a little bowl. That's about a portion, just mm -hmm. a small cereal bowl. 
Now the other thing is what I'd also do just before I eat this is add a bit of flaxseed oil, just drizzle a few, a little bit across the top of it. Because you're really big on that flaxseed oil. I am. So basically, that's about four cups of product plus my fruit, so we're going to get about six bowls of birch and muesli out of that, so. Looks fantastic. Well, I'm going to have a little bit of that tomorrow morning, Pete, so thanks very much for that. There's some great breakfast options, and we'll catch you again next time.